Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zadar and welcome to this matchup between the Tomb Kings and the Mighty Empire. So, uh, let's get straight into it and uh, show you what I brought. So, over in the front line I get 3 units of Tomb Guard mixed with uh, 2 units of uh, Skeleton Warriors. I just uh, sent these guys in the front enough to provide, uh, to just uh, soak up the damage and stuff like that. I don't want the Tomb Guard to be taking the damage, although if the opponent of mine is good, he's just gonna switch fire and just uh, shoot at the most uh, high value units. Over back here I went for a really, really heavy missile army. I brought uh, two, three skeleton archers along with uh, two Sapti, not the chosen of the gods, just uh, the mere ones. I got uh, also a screaming skull catapult back here, which uh, was kind of a waste. It didn't do much because uh, uh, my enemy got uh, some vanguard uh, deployed uh, back here. And uh, yeah, it, uh, this uh, didn't turn out too well for me. And in the back I get uh, two spears, uh, just uh, protecting the flanks and uh, just uh, one necrosphinx in order to deal with uh, enemy large units. So, uh, did I forget about anything? Uh, I don't think so. So let's get to our enemies. He's got uh, the Zindler's Guard Vanguard deployed back here, which is gonna be fantastic. He's gonna just try and harass my backline, which is gonna be quite uh, interesting and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be caught off guard to be honest. I didn't expect uh, that move over there. So two Outriders in here, just uh, for that armor piercing I hope uh, to deal with the my constructs and stuff like that. The Screaming Skull Catapult opens fire to them immediately, but uh, it doesn't do that much of a damage. And over here for the main line, he's got uh, some Flagellants, uh, Halberdiers, the Sigma Suns, these guys will be tough to take down, some more Halberdiers and uh, some more Flagellants over here. He also brought the Celestial Wizard, uh, let's uh, check up on his magic. There we go. He's got the Power Stone for improved uh, power and uh, recharge rate, uh, the Curse of the Midnight Wind, the harmonic of vengeance and just rolling sky so just a uh, buffer up for uh, this guy uh, he also brought the hand gunner unit back here and uh, just uh, the hammer of the witches which is an anti-large and it really got uh, high range and uh, this guy is gonna be tearing my guys apart if I leave it unchecked so over here as the lord he brought Boris Toadbringer on top of his mighty griffon and uh, not griffon, hippogriff, sorry for that uh, he brought the deadly onslaught, four seeker Midland Room Funk, uh, Curse of the Week uh, for that uh, melee defense leadership and melee attack reducement, which is kind of perfect. Hold the line just for uh, some leadership and uh, charge resistance, and uh, yeah, the same old uh, passive uh, abilities. So uh, let's get this straight. I'm actually gonna fast forward this because it's actually quite slow at the start. I'm just uh, trying to think what I'm going to do, and uh, what I come up with, which was not the brightest idea, is just uh, leave the Screaming Skull Catapult back here along with uh, just one Spearman unit. Although I think uh, for my next uh, gameplay, if I bring a Skull Catapult or a Casket of Souls, I'm gonna bring Halbidiers, tomb, tomb Guards and not just a mere Skeleton Spearman. Or even the Skeleton Spearman, the renowned one, I think uh, that one is gonna perform better. These guys are, are not uh, good at defending anything, I mean they're just uh, getting destroyed quite easily. So I'm just uh, marching my army forward because I just don't want to wait, I just uh, I want to go in and uh, make this happen fast, uh, but uh, it's not gonna go that well for me because as you can see here I'm taking massive fire from uh, my enemy, uh, from that uh, well, Hammer of the Witches and uh, it's picking my Tomb Guard apart over here, it's almost down to like 56 models, like uh, the, ha the half a unit almost dead already. Um, let's see, where's, uh, is there anything else over here? Yeah, he's moving his Zintler guard slowly but steadily, just uh, getting out of the woods and I'm still not able to shoot, uh, to see it. I was uh, bothered with uh, just uh, getting my uh, my line in here, just uh, micromanaging who is gonna go where and what I'm gonna shoot, so I obviously didn't see that. They're gonna get the back charge right into my skeleton spears in here and just uh, completely shut this uh, thing off. Over here the Outriders are trying to shoot my Usapti, this is why I'm gonna turn my spears and some archers in order to fend them off, because uh, these archers, cheap archers are able to just uh, tear these guys apart since they get really low armor, and uh, yeah, so over here uh, I open fire into the Flagellants and some uh, soft targets as you can see, even on these thunders that are taking quite some damage. But as you can see here, he's uh, actually trying to get Kalida with that cannon and uh, actually my Necrosphinx, he even pops a harmonic convergence over here with uh, no, the Midnight Wind, uh, the Midnight, uh, what's the thing, 
Curse of the Midnight Wind, yeah, which brings down uh, my stats quite, uh, quite a really low number, and uh, he's gonna prevail in the fight here. He's also getting some uh, nice damage to my Necrosphinx over here due to that Thunderer uh, firepower and uh, the Hammer of the Witches. Uh, Handgunners, not Thunder, sorry, sorry for that. And uh, the Boris Thoughtbringer actually destroys Khalid over here, which is kind of bad because uh, I thought this uh, Lord over here was able to withstand uh, some more damage, but obviously she's not quite well at it. So I mean, at least uh, Boris took some damage from that Necrosphinx as well. And these Outriders were able to just be fend off, but uh, as you can see here, as I said, the Zindler's Guard is able to just uh, tear down all of the skeletons uh, and uh, they're unable to do anything to them. So over here, the last tier pops uh, quite fast, that's what I was waiting in order to go after for these cannons, what, that's why I didn't send anything after that. I kept my Necrosphinx back here to deal with the Demigriff Knights and... Uh, Look at the damage, even on such low health, it's gonna offer me some much utility completely, crushing uh, these guys almost to full health, and uh, this is where it's gonna go bad for me. It was The balance of power was uh, in my in uh, my opponent's favor, but as soon as I summon the Usapti and take out the cannons and the uh, gunners over here, it's uh, turning apart, although it's still gonna be a, f a tough one. Over here, I forget about this Tomb Guard almost uh, throughout uh, all of the fight, and uh, they're gonna come back in the end. The Demigriff Knights over here, just uh, taking some treatment for, um, from this Usapti, which I had to uh, put them into melee in order to deal with that, because I obviously didn't have much here, just uh, some uh, poor uh, Skeleton Spearman, which is not an optimal way to go, as you can see, the Zintler's Guard is coming back, and I'm gonna be starting to fire at him soon, and uh, I'm gonna do some really good damage to him. Over here, the Usapti and the remaining Tomb Guard are being left to fight on with the Sigmar Suns, 30 models still alive and 76 on these Halberdiers. And I'm gonna soon send this guy back, but uh, I just uh, forgot about him, so, and so did my enemy with his Demigriff Knights. So, uh, my, my Skeleton Archers here are opening fire onto this Zintler's Guard, along with the Usapti Great Boss, and there you can see here that these guys are being taken apart, they too much damage from this armor piercing. But uh, the Halberdiers are doing quite well in here, I mean they're killing off uh, my Usapti and the Skeleton Spearman at the same time and I really can't do much, I can't, uh, I, all I'm being left is just uh, missile units back here and only one Spearman unit and uh, not much to be done about it, all my front line, my infantry is over here and even these ones are not able to deal with any cavalry. So. Over here he's pinning my Skeleton Archers with his uh, Light Wizard, uh, Celestial Wizard over here and uh, the other one is taken down by the Zindler's Guard but at least I'm able to shoot in the back of these guys now. And uh, the Outriders are here and uh, they're trying to shoot at my Usapti which is uh, kind of bad, they're being dragged down quite uh, fast as you can see, just uh, that little damage over time is gonna add up. But uh, at least I just uh, managed to get uh, this Usapti just about before it dies to the Zindler's Guard and they're doing some massive work against him and uh, they're able to just uh, shut it down completely. Uh, this is where I try to split my forces in order to just uh, start shooting at the Celestial Wizard. Uh, the Tomb Guard over here won the fight against the Sigma Suns and uh, the Halberdiers. And uh, now I'm being left with some uh, just uh, Chip Spearmen and uh, two Subti Great Bows. So I send in the Spearmen after the Demigriff Knights and I'm just trying to pull back my Usapti Great Bows in order to shoot them. And uh, over here, the Outriders managed to come back but uh, uh, with one of these skeleton archers I'm able to just uh, shoot at them and they're gonna just uh, be fend off uh, quite soon. Yeah, as you can see here I managed to break off from that wizard and just uh, send the tomb guard after him and these guys will just uh, be able to take it down, uh, out uh, quite easily. Over here I I had to charge in with my Usapti, I know it's not a good move, I still had ammo left but I needed that burst damage in order to bring that leadership down and as you can see it's working, these guys are starting to waver as soon as this Usapti charged in the leadership pro was brought down to 2 and uh, these uh, Demigriff Knights are all are as well down to 7 models and uh, this is what uh, mostly won me the fight because as I said I needed some burst damage and uh, the missile firepower was kind of slow and uh, yeah this uh, Halberdiers just came back but this tomb uh, will be able to just fend them off these guys are wavering too and uh, this is where it's all going down so that uh, mighty last charge from the Usapti uh, just uh, won me the fight over there so let's see <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, as you saw, Kalida was not uh, worth uh, to be brought into this matchup. She was really quite squishy. She didn't manage to get uh, that much uh, worth uh, into play. I brought her in order to provide uh, some uh, missile uh, buffs to these guys, but uh, she was not able to do even that. She was like standing in the back and uh, st she was still getting shot from that cannon and Boris just uh, destroyed her quite early on. The Necrosphinx as well, I mean it didn't do much but uh, it managed to bring Boris uh, down to 10% um, health and also bring uh, the Royal, uh, the Demigriff Knights almost to half. Um, Skeleton Warriors just uh, chip crap didn't do much. The Tomb Guard did an amazing job. Uh, this one survived to the bitter end and uh, it was able to just uh, grab too many kills and these guys even more but they took more damage. The Skeleton Spearmen were just uh, complete worthless. I should have brought one Halberd or the renowned spearman unit in order to deal with that Zintler's guard it could it could have won uh, it, it could have gone better if i just brought the other one the skeleton archers uh, were able to just do some uh, really nice work just uh, fending off these outriders uh, just uh, shutting off the damage uh, that was intended to go after my usapti uh, the usapti uh, did uh, quite an amazing job as well just grabbing a ton of kills as you saw the necrosphinx as well and the screaming skull catapult just did nothing because it was shot early on so uh, a really tough matchup i mean uh, it could go other ways i don't have uh, to say anything about it uh, if my enemy could have won any time but uh, I just, uh, what can I say, I just micromanaged a little better, I had some uh, better strategy in my head but uh, at least I won. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed guys, feel free to leave a like or a comment and uh, I'll see you next time.